My name is Michael Carr, and I'm the president of the Mount Hort Mustard Museum. I'm kind of the, uh, the business guy. The uh, founder and curator of the museum is Barry Levinson. Well, the, the Mustard Museum ended up in Mount Horeb uh, really because at the time that Barry started collecting mustards, he lived in Mount Horeb. And uh, in 1986, he started his collection. and. Uh, Pretty soon, his passion for mustard grew and grew. Uh, word spread of his collection, and people started to send him mustards from all over the country and all over the world. Uh, pretty soon, people wanted to come and uh, see his mustard collection, and he actually had an old uh, uh, pump house in the back of his home, and that actually was the first mustard museum. In 1992, uh, at the time, Barry Levinson was the uh, assistant Attorney General for the state of Wisconsin, I had a, in charge of criminal appeals, and uh, in 1992 he decided that he was going to pursue his real passion. The collection uh, right now currently stands at over 4,000 mustards, and so uh, the question of, of how long does it take to uh, accumulate a collection of that size. Um, again, the, the museum's uh, collection started this collection in 1986 and the collection has steadily grown since 1986 um, to reach a point right now of over 4,000 mustards, one from every state in the Union and over 60 countries. Uh, mustards are on display here at the Mount Hort Mustard Museum. Often people ask, um, where, do you, where do you discover all these uh, unique mustards? Uh, one thing is, uh, one way we do is, uh, Barry Levinson is, uh, besides being founder and curator of the museum, is also the coordinating jo judge for the Worldwide Mustard Festival, which is held out, uh, Worldwide Mustard Competition, which is uh, uh, held out in Napa Valley, California, in conjunction with the uh, National Mustard Festival. And so every year there are hundreds, uh, literally hundreds of mustards that enter uh, the mustard competition in, in uh, about a dozen different categories. In fact, this year there were over 300 uh, different entries from uh, many, many states and uh, several countries. What we normally ask people to do when they walk in the door is pick up one of the little green shopping baskets, go around, look at all the different mustards that are classified by kind. So we have sweet hot mustard, honey mustards, vegetable mustards, herb, garlic, hot. Pick out a few that you think you'd like to try and bring them back to the tasting table. In fact, we encourage you to taste them because we don't want you to take home anything that you don't like. We always start with the sweet hot mustards and work our way up to the hot mustards. Obviously, if you start with the hot mustards, then by the time you get to the sweet hot ones, you have no taste left. This is our mustard. This is the Slim and Nun. Chances of finding a better mustard are Slim and Nun. And this one is a sweet and nicely hot. This is Barry's recipe. He was making it and giving it away before you opened the museum. It's really good. Mm. All right, well, there's that one. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Lemon. Oh, wow. Okay, three tablespoons of this lemon and add it to a white cake mix plus your eggs and oil. Makes the most beautiful lemon cake you have ever tasted in your life. Oh. It has a refreshing taste. Yeah, I bet. How much? Three tablespoons? Three tablespoons. 
We want a little bit stronger, add another one. Well, basically three tablespoons of lemon mustard, and you have a wonderful cake. On National Mustard Day, which is uh, our biggest celebration of the year, it's always the first Saturday in August, uh, we entertain probably close to 5,000 visitors. Uh, the city of Mount Forb actually blocks off Main Street for us, and we'll have bands, we'll have mustard games, mustard painting, uh, we we'll give out uh, usually several thousand hot dogs, of course only with mustard, they want ketchup. Part of the, uh, on Mustard Day, we have um, several games that we play. Uh, for instance, we have Mustard Bowling. We have uh, Fritches, or actually Puffman's, I believe, uh, bottles of mustard, and we, we do that if our museum has a beautiful bowling alley uh, floor, so it's perfect for mustard bowling. Uh, outside, we'll have activities like mustard painting, uh, mustard finger painting, which is a real favorite. We'll have the mustard ring toss, and if you ring a jar of mustard, you can get that uh, that mustard. Um, we have Plotman's Spinning Wheel of Fortune, where you can uh, win a variety of prizes, of course, all the things the mustard. At the Mustard Museum, we uh, everybody loves mustard, and uh, we try mustard on uh, just about everything. Uh, back last year, at the National Mustard Day, we had uh, the famous Babcock Dairy down at the University of Wisconsin campus mix us up a batch of mustard ice cream. And it was made with Robert Rothschild's raspberry honey mustard. And it was a real crowd favorite. We, we uh, made over uh, 500 containers of the mustard. I think we, uh, we sold out within a week. Um, so we never grow tired of mustard here at the Mustard Museum. And uh, we have a favorite mustard uh, for any dish that's uh, for us.